Hi friends, here is a nice problem in complex numbers. We are given mod of z minus 12 by z minus 8i equals 5 by 3 and mod of z minus 4 by z minus i equals 1. Right. Now we have to find a complex number or set of complex numbers that satisfy these two equations simultaneously. Complex numbers behave like algebraic equations only. The equations in complex numbers also just behave like algebraic equations only. Just that we need to be little careful and say i square equals minus 1. This example that this question is actually pretty straightforward. Let's approach this one like any algebraic equation only. What is uh, what is z? Let us just assume z as its common notation. It is x plus i y. Let z be z have some real value and some complex value. Let us assume z as z as x plus i y, and we have to find out what is x, what is y that will satisfy these two equations, right? Now. What is z minus 4? If z is x plus i mean, z minus 4 will be x plus i y minus 4. The real part will become x minus 4 and imaginary part will remain y. And the mod of z minus 4 will become root of this real part square plus imaginary part square, which is x minus 4 whole square plus y square root of this. This is mod z minus 4. Right. Similarly, what is mod z minus 8? It is root of x minus 8 square plus y square. Right. So, what is this equation becoming? Z minus 4 by Z minus 8 uh, mod of this become, is becoming a, a root of X minus 4 square plus Y square by root of this thing. But, uh, but this is anyway equals to 1. The root of this by this equals 1. Even if you square this, it will still be 1. So, that's why we remove that root and directly said X minus 4 square plus Y square equals 1 times x minus 8 square plus y square plus just expand x square plus 16 4 square minus 2 into x into 4 which is 8x plus y square equals x square plus 64 minus 16x plus y square. Right. Then here x square x square will go away with 16x. If you bring this side it will be 6 plus 16x minus 8x which is 8x and 64 minus 16 is 48. So, rest of y square also will cancel out. 8x equals 48, x equals 6. We know x is 6. We don't know what is y. So, z is in the form of 6 plus i y. Right. Now, we have got the second equation. Let us just directly substitute this 6 plus i y in the second equation. z minus 4 will be 6 plus i y minus 12. What is the real part? 6 minus 12, that is minus 6. Real part is minus 6 and imaginary part is i y. Y is imaginary part is still y. So, what is mod of z minus 1? It is minus 6 square plus y square root of that. But uh, what we do? We'll uh, put the denominator also. Let's write z minus 8i. What is z minus 8i? 6 plus i y minus 8i. So, 6 plus y minus 8 into i. Right. So, that is the denominator i y minus 8i. What is this mod? Mod of this is root of 16 square plus y minus 8 square, right? 16 square plus i times y minus 8. So, 16 square plus y minus 8 square, which is y square plus 8 square minus 16y. So, there will be roots on both the sides, but we are, let's, uh, let's do square of that. So, we will get 25 by 9. So, 6 square plus y square, which is this, minus 6 square plus y square equals 25 by 9 times this mod of this, right? This equation. Let us just simplify 9 times 6 square plus y square minus 6 square is also equal to 6 square. Right? 9 times 6 square plus y square becomes 25 times 6 square plus y square plus 8 square minus 16 y. Right. Let us further simplify 25 into 6 square minus 9 into 6 square becomes 16 times 6 square. Right. Similarly, 25 times y square minus 9 times y square. This becomes 16 times y square. 25 times 8 square. This is 25 times 64, which you can write it as 25 times 16 times 4. 16 fourths are 64, right? Minus 25 times 16y. This all is becoming 0. Let us just simplify this because there is a 16 common factor in everything, right? This 16, this 16, this 16, and this 16. That's why just cancel out this 16. We will be left with 6 square 
plus y square plus 25 times 4, 100 minus 25y. This equals 0. What does that mean? y square minus 25y plus 136 equals 0. Right. 136 is 17 into 8. Right. So we can write it as y square minus 17y minus 8y. 17 minus 17 minus 8 has become 25. And 17 times 8 is 136. Right. So then we are getting y minus 17 times y minus 8 equals 0. Y can be either 17 or 8. So what is our z? Z is 6 plus i y. 6 plus i times 17, 6 plus 17 i or 6 plus 8 i. These are the two solutions. This is a pretty straightforward problem. Just that we need to assume that x plus i y, z has some x plus i y. And then do the mods and simplify this algebraic equation. Right guys. Thank you.